Welcome back to the channel and thank you for coming this afternoon. I'm going to be making some beef sliders for our Super Bowl party tomorrow and I'm going to run through um, a quick and simple way to knock up some simple beef patties. Here I have is some ground beef, uh, ground steak mince and to that I'm going to add in some shallots, some fresh thyme and I've got some mustard and some pepper in it and uh, I'll mix it all up and I'll show you what to do next. So I've got some beef, work it in. Peter has washed his hands thoroughly. I have washed I'm going to pan down to the sous chef. The sous chef is getting impatient. His day's not gone as well as he's I'm just going to pan down to our little sous chef. Well, this is Wiggins. Yeah. Wiggins. Who is Lord Wiggins. Lord Wiggins. He's a mutt, but he's Lord Wiggins to us. And he likes to get involved, doesn't he? But remember children, don't touch your dogs or your cats while you're using food. There is my assistant down here. <laughs> there you go, Chef Luke. There's my humble assistant down there. Humble assistant. I've got one and a half teaspoon of mustard. A little bit of mustard, a little bit of black pepper. No salt. I'll salt it up when I've finished it because if you put um, salt in the ground beef, it's just going to draw out all the, uh, the moisture and make it dry. One way we we'll work the, the burgers, you just want to sort of get the mustard worked in and the rest of the herbs on the onions. Look at that strong chef mixing away folks. It takes a lot of muscle. I couldn't do that because I'm not strong, I'm a bit feeble. But there you go. I fed him his Weetabix this morning and he's, eating, he's mixing up well. After 30 years, you've got to keep them lean and keen and fit. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sue. Thanks right, now well. that's some mix. I'm going to show you a little trick. That piece of potato. Where? What I've done is I took a, a serrated knife and I've cut it the thickness I need my burger. Yeah? So I've got a piece like that. And then I've got a cutter to the size of burger I need. Cut it out and now I'm going to load that, that mould well. With my mince meat, as such, like that. Scrape it. Wow, well, that looks very technical. Yeah, it's very simple. See, and what do you end up with? Perfect patty. Well, wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Now, I'm Perfect gonna... patty. Good and job. What we do? We make that enough to do our dozen burgers. Uh, if you don't have a cutter, you could do it by hand and just roll them out the old-fashioned way. But you get these all consistent, look, they're all the same size. And when you're doing hundreds of these, it makes it a lot easier. Don't forget, folks, to subscribe to our channel because it's absolutely free. Hit the like button, hit the bell, and leave us a comment. Don't forget, folks, the comments are really, really important. I will try and reply to as many of you as I can. It's all about taking part, ladies and gentlemen, doing these very difficult times. Yep. Yeah. Very difficult times of being shut down, but we can always do something like this in the kitchen and have a bit of fun with your yeah. kids. But remember, folks. So your children could quite easily do this. For Absolutely, you they could. Load the moulds where you want to mix them or help you mix them. It's such an easy thing to do. And the chopping is it will be done by a grown up because we don't, don't want any. Uh, we don't want any children with. No, we don't. And any fingers in there. No. And the sous chef down here is getting. Sous chef is getting impatient. He's waiting on his walk. Everybody. Uh, Everybody's ever had a, uh, a ding a linger or a springer spaniel will know that they are. Their whole day revolves around around the walk. Even professional chefs have doggies. There we go. He's doing a grand job there. I'm going get more than swell. In normal times, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually got a catering company called Finishing Touches, etc. If you check our website out, as well, www.finishingtouchesetc.co.uk. You can see some of the parties, canopy parties we've done for Don't major property cons. And also, you know, hopefully in good time, we'll be doing it again. So check us out as well. And he's nearly there. Nearly there. And so do you want to explain to us what we had to do with the burgers? Because obviously we could go out of our area. Yeah, yeah, absolutely we could. Um, because of the COVID, we had to buy these rolls here, the big ones, because yeah. we couldn't go out to a bakery far away. So what Peter did is he cut a hole in the, this bit. I, what I did was I split the buns in, in half. half, made them thinner, removed that, and then with a cutter, I cut out the shapes 
So I ended up with small cocktail burgers, which are a fraction uh, smaller than the patties. So then when they cook, they'll shrink a little bit and they'll fit, fit, fit really nicely on the, um, the plate. We just goes to show that you can go to your nearest shop and get some rolls and make them. You don't have to go out your area as you're not allowed to. No. Stay within our area. Because so. it's, it's lockdown. No. And I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. And I hope everybody's enjoying the channel. Yeah. We'll be putting up more content. And next week, as we all know, it's, it's um, Valentine's Day. So we'll be putting up some really romantic three desserts. So tune in to that too. Yep. Yeah. So if you pause it there, Suze, I'll go over to uh, next day. See you in a bit.